Okay, so this is my first video I've done where the whole video is made over with a voiceover. So this is done with this actual NW700 condenser microphone itself. And let's get right in. So today we have got the Niwu NW700 condenser microphone set. It states that it's ideal whether you're setting up a channel, doing podcasting, voiceovers and gaming. But I don't know, for around 26 to 27 pounds, that's 35 in US dollars, is this kit really any good? And for that low price tag, will it suit your needs? Well, let's delve right in. Okay then, now, the box itself is very minimalistic. Like a lot of new word YouTube starter products that I've previously reviewed on my channel. Yes, those videos are available just now, so after this video, go and check them out. But inside the box, we have some pretty, well, basic packaging. In bag one, we have the Niwu 3 double layer 15cm pop filter. This does come fitted on a gooseneck mount and there also is a very thin microphone filter too. We also have the Niwu 35 suspension boom scissor arm stand, which doesn't look too bad to be honest. There's one table mount, one metal shock mount which your microphone fits into. There is one 45 Reef Phantom power supply, I know a lot of kits don't come with this power supply, but with this particular microphone, especially when you're using an XLR to 3.5mm cable, you're definitely going to need a phantom power supply. That is exactly what most condenser microphones actually need. So yes, power supply or a mixer that already has that power supply already built in, well that will do. We have an adapter just here for that power supply. There's also a male to female XLR cable, that XLR to 3.5mm audio cable and finally we have the Niwu 700 microphone itself. What we do have a simple but clear instruction manual. Installation is easy. First of all, fix the table mount clamp on the edge of your preferred surface and just simply tighten. Unscrew the screw to the top of the mount and slide in the adjustable boom arm stand into the top of the table mount and then tighten the screw back into place. Then we screw the metal shock mount into the adjustable arm stand. Yes, I'm doing it the lazy way. You can actually take the spindle out if you want and place it in first. But after it's tightened up into your preferred position, place the condenser microphone into that metal shock mount. By pinching the clip on the shock mount itself, placing the microphone in and then letting go of the retaining clip. Fix the gooseneck pop filter mount onto the adjustable arm stand, preferably in a suitable place. And next, you just simply got to connect the XLR female end of the cable to the bottom end of the mic. Go ahead and connect the male end of the XLR cable into the input channel of the phantom power supply. Grab that second cable that has the 3.5mm end, connect that female XLR to the output source of the power supply. Then go in ahead and connect the 3.5mm end into the 3.5mm mic port, preferably at the rear end of your computer. So once that's plugged in, last thing you need to do is hook that power adapter up. Click the on button on the phantom power supply, then once that's done, go over to the sound setting, for example if you're using Windows 10, go down to the windows bar and hover over the speaker, right click the speaker, then go down and hover over speaker setup, move gently across the advanced setup, left click it, and you'll come up with a brand new window with certain tabs like playback, recording, sounds and communications. Go up to the tab where it says recording, left click it, and today because I'm using the front mic on my PC, right click this, and we're going to go down to properties. So I've already set this up, and I've set my levels to the front mic to 81, and I've set the microphone boost to 10.0 dB. I've gone through every single amount of settings, so this is my preferred setting for this microphone, and we're simply going to click OK, we're going to back off, and we're going to test the microphone out. Alrighty then, so this Niwu 700 is described as having a cardioid pickup pattern, enabling this microphone to cancel out any noise from around your surroundings. Let me just try it out just now. Let me just walk back. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, can you hear this clap? I'm about six feet away. So yes, even though it's was six feet away from the rear of the microphone, there is a difference from behind the mic to the front of the mic, but you can actually still hear the surroundings on playback. So the actual audio pickup is described as having a frequency response from between 20 hertz and 16 kilohertz, which to me, I think is kind of low. I've actually tested out USB microphones before, which are a lot higher. So I don't think you're going to get good pickup day, for example, if you're at a distance from the front of the mic. So let me just sit back. Hello, guys. So I'm sat right back now. I'm around four foot away from the mic. And this is what the sound is like from four feet. So let me just move forward and forward and forward and forward and I'm right up close and personal. 
So I'm around about uh, 30 centimeters away from the microphone just now. And next what we're going to do is we're going to test out some of the P's and T's letters. So we've got the pop filter in front of the mic just now. P P P T T T P P P P P P P P Pick up a penguin. So that's what the letters are like. Let me just take the pop shield away and show you guys the difference. P P P T T T P P P T T T so a massive difference with the peas when you're picking up a penguin, especially when you've got no filter on. What about if you put the little foam filter on? Let me check that out. So we've not got the pop filter. We've basically got the little foam filter on and we are now going to test it out. P, 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 T, T, T. P, 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 T, T. Picking up, picking up, picking up a penguin. Pick it a big, a big. So let's take that back off again and put the pop filter in front as on that playback, this is the preferred option. Yes, you can record at a distance, but the audio pickup on this preferred setting is kind of low. Like I've stated, I've had to mess around with the settings somewhat for over 15 minutes just to get that best preferred audio quality. So yeah, as you can hear just now, there's a fair bit of hissing in the background. My voice is somewhat clear, but it is kind of flat. I mean, it's not mind blowing pickup and it doesn't pick up much bass within my voice. So some of the pinpoints, audio quality is not too bad, but not the best. Clarity, ah, it's kind of average, it's still flat though. Recording distance, yes, you can record at distance, but believe me guys, you don't want to mess with the settings, you're going to end up with a massive amount of background hiss. But other than the microphone, the suspension arm itself is kind of good. It's sturdy on flat surfaces when it's really, really screwed into place, that is. The pop shield is good. I've had cheaper ones in the past, which basically broke apart. But one thing I've got to say about this whole microphone today is there are a few reviews on YouTube that do state that this microphone is good for music recording it's good for instrumental recording i mean yes you can use the xlr cables and plug it straight into a mixer that has phantom power you can fine tune it using some of the dials and take away some of that background noise such as the hissing and even use noise cancellation but why would you want to go through all that work i have to ask that question isn't it better just buying one of those usb condenser microphones which i previously by the way reviewed upon my channel i would rather stick with the usb powered condenser microphone as it didn't have that background hiss and it it didn't need much audio adjusting but other than that guys i can only say it how it is if you go on amazon just now the phantom power supply itself is around 15 pounds and you actually get the phantom power supply with this kit would i advise using a better microphone yeah you could do that you could buy the kit and buy a better mic but it's certainly the microphone that actually lets the whole thing down but what would I give this whole kit out of my usual rating out of 10? Now, based upon the kit itself, and not just the mic, I'm going to be reasonable. I'm going to give it 4 out of 10. The microphone isn't the best in the world. I've had some cheap microphones which cost around £10, and it does a better job. And yes, you basically get what you paid for. It's certainly not within that 200 to 300 pound price range. It's a cheap package, it's a cardioid mic, it's not a dynamic mic, which will work without any phantom power, and any cardioid mics will basically need that power supply of 48 volts. Now, will it work on a laptop? I found it didn't work that great on my laptop. I've got a proper gaming laptop, and it actually had worse quality, unless you got some type of mixer to plug it into, and you can adjust all the levels. Obviously, using Windows, you're limited with levels, you can actually download a voice recording app, but like I said, spend a bit more money and buy a better microphone. I prefer the USB option, it's just a plug and play, plug it in, starts right up, clear, loud quality, you can have more than one person recording and you don't need to be sat 30 centimeters away from the mic. But yeah, I've said it how it is, I am going to mention the link in the video description down below, you can go and check this kit out it because a boom arm itself is around 17.99 microphone pop shield is around eight pounds and the phantom power supply i mean that's just around 15 quid too so for that package alone it's definitely worth it at the current price of 25 to 26 pounds now i hope this review helped today and if it did please go ahead and smash that like button please subscribe making sure you hit that bell notification option so you guys stay updated on all my new uploads Please go ahead and share this video wherever possible. Sharing is caring. Well, everyone says that, but it is, truly, it is. And well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on my very next video. Peace!